Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivis, and there's an analysis done historically, archaeologically, of the diet that Neanderthals ate. Now, Neanderthals are an offshoot of humanity, it's a branch, but the Neanderthal diet is commonly thought of, and this is how distorted thinking is in the public eye and in some of our science. The Neanderthal diet is commonly thought of be, as being a very, very high animal product, carnivore-based diet, where they ate some vegetables, but they were primarily carnivores. And we know this is true based on scientific evidence that analyzed Neanderthals and found and they traced something called N15. So N15 is a particular form of nitrogen, nitrogen, which occurs in, uh, um, uh, in animals. So when you break protein down for energy, all forms of energy, whether it's protein, fat, and, and carbohydrates, the energy is locked into three molecules, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And the beauty about the human body is when you break carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen down, you breathe out the carbon dioxide and you pee out the water that is the residue. The energy is removed and used by the human body. Carbon dioxide and water are the waste products that we pee out and breathe out. It's, it's so beautiful how simple it is. However, when we use protein, amino acids as fuel, amino acids have four, four molecules on them. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, same as the other two, and nitrogen. So we breathe out the carbon dioxide, we pee out the water, and then we have to eliminate the nitrogen. And the nitrogen gets eliminated as blood urea nitrogen in our pee, as creatine in our pee, and as uric acid. Uh, still an old non-mammalian reptilian and fish-based way of getting rid of nitrogen. More and more over the last decade, we are doing intense research. Not me, myself, but intense research is being done out there in the commercial space as well as the science space in terms of the effect of exogenous ketones, of a spike in ketones on certain diseases. Now, this is not for people on a low-carb, high-fat diet, although it's an accelerant, but this is for ordinary people out there coming in with these problems. And the first major issue is heart failure. People die of heart failure. It's a tragic disease, often have heart transplants. It is an awful disease. But if you've got mild to moderate heart failure and you're looking to preserve heart function using ketone IQ, now there is science behind the use of ketone IQ on a regular basis to manage heart failure. I recently did a podcast with the research head of ketone IQ, um, Dr. Lat Mansur, but also this data is supported by studies being published and done at Duke University. So I'm speaking based on the science behind this, where exogenous ketone IQ is a valuable tool, not a surrogate, but a valuable tool in the management of heart failure. If you have heart failure, talk to your doctor about perhaps prescribing ketone IQ or go to their site and buy some. We have a 30% discount uh, from this channel if you use my name, but we are using it scientifically and medically. However, in the Neanderthals, they analyzed the nitrogen N15 component, which is that component that is a metabolite of protein consumption. And that is how we know that the majority of the Neanderthal diet was animal-based. But now a new study has shown that a large concentration, and this is how distorted the thinking is. So the people that are doing the study truly, truly do not want to believe that humans are meant to eat animals. Their, heavy, their agenda, their bias is toward plant-based, and they're desperately looking to change our thinking of what Neanderthals ate. So they've now come up with this theory that Neanderthals were mostly eating maggots, that the N15 comes from maggots because maggots who are carnivores, primarily living on dead flesh, laid there by flies, that the maggots have a very high N15, Neanderthals have a very high N15, therefore Neanderthals must be eating maggots. This is how distorted the thinking is. Well, maybe the maggots and the Neanderthals are eating the same thing, which is meat, dead or alive, recently killed or older. And yes, the, the Neanderthals were scavengers in a large part, but they also killed their own meat. But to, to make the correlation to remove the same eating product and say that that Neanderthals ate maggots, that's where the N15 comes in. 
to scare people and to make them afraid of eating animal products is just ludicrous. But I just heard this um, as a published article. And again, it shows you how biased the plant-based agenda is toward condemning the consumption of animal products. Uh, again, I just want to throw that on the back end of this because it's, a, it's an interesting little item that is currently topical. I am the Carbon Addiction Doc, and please watch the full video, the full podcast with Anup and Shashi as we talk about the Indian thinking and the transformation of health in India that these two folks are spearheading with their organization.